Welcome to Ward's Crafts 101. Today we'll be making boxwood kissing balls. The supplies you will need for this project is ribbon measuring half an inch in width, oasis, and of course, boxwood. We sell boxwood in bundles and this project will take a minimum of two bundles. Cut your oasis in half with a sharp knife. You will be using one half of the oasis for one kissing ball. Soak your oasis for a minimum of five minutes or you can soak overnight and then let it sit on a plate for a good 30 minutes uh, before starting your kissing ball so it can drain. Otherwise, it'll be soaking wet. Measure a yard and a half of your ribbon and then we're going to wrap the oasis kind of like a present by first taking the ribbon under the oasis and then tying a knot there to then go along the opposite sides of the oasis around and over to the bottom. Tying a knot there as well. Actually double knotting that so it stays nice and tight. And then knotting it one more time at the top of the strands because that will act as your hanger. Next, you'll need to rig up your oasis. Two chairs on a countertop with a rod across is ideal so that the oasis sits at about face to shoulder height and is easy to work with. We always start our kissing balls by taking a piece of boxwood and putting it in the oasis at the top and at the bottom, and then we will do the corners and all the sides. We use pieces about five to eight inches in length. Otherwise, they can get a little bit too large um, for the oasis block. So she'll work her way around doing all the corners, all the sides. It's important as you start to put your boxwood pieces in to commit to just putting them in once rather than taking them in and out of the, of the oasis. Oasis is very fragile and will fall apart if you keep taking pieces in and out and kind of changing your placement. And you'll have to kind of start all, all over again with a new piece of Oasis. So just take a little bit of time before you select your placement and you know firmly stick the piece of boxwood in and then leave it there. You'll also see that as Claire chooses her pieces to go in, she actually removes a few of those bottom leaves so that it's really just the stem left. This allows for the stem to go in directly and uh, kind of minimize the hole that is created in the oasis, which also helps the oasis kind of stay together. Once you have done all the corners and all the sides, you'll keep filling in with those five to eight inch pieces, maybe a little bit shorter to create some depth. Just placing them in places where you need a little bit more coverage. Keep working your way around the ball rather than working in just one location so that you get a more rounded uh, finished piece. Here we see Claire prepping some of those five inch pieces so that she has a good supply to kind of pull from and doesn't have to keep cutting the right size length off the larger boughs. This makes the process go a little bit faster as you already have your five inch pieces ready for you to stick into your oasis. As you start to finish up and the piece is getting quite full, I always think it's best to you know, take a step back and look at it from a distance as you'll always be a little bit surprised at how full it looks from further away. Claire's a professional and doesn't have to do this step as she's made probably over a thousand kissing balls in her crafting career.
To create the tail, we do two smaller loops, one slightly bigger than the other, and four tails. Two of the tails are created by the two ends. So you start with the first end kind of long as Claire did, do your two loops, and then one big loop matching that length, and then your last end matches that length as, all, as well. In total, it's about five yards of ribbon. Then you'll need some wire, about 20 inches. Wrap that around the center of your tails and twist it. And then take a wooden pick and twist that wire onto the wooden pick, leaving yourself a good three to four inches of wire away from the wooden pick. Then take your scissors and cut that last larger loop that you made, the loop that's the same length as the ends, to create your four tails. Stick your wooden pick into the oasis firmly, and then you have that extra of wire to kind of play around and push it, the tails in and place them exactly where you want to be. You'll need ribbon and either wooden picks or wire. Cut your ribbon to be about 16 inches long. First, I'll show you how to do it with a wooden pick and then we'll go over how to do it with wire. You're not gonna tie the bow, you're actually gonna kind of fold the ribbon on itself. So first you kind of take the two ends and fold it so that they're touching there and then take the back up so it's touching that spot. Then to kind of make a neater bow at the end of the day, you're going to pinch that location so that the ribbon folds in half and then wire right in that spot by folding the wire over it and then twisting it tight. I like to leave about an inch to an inch and a half of wire away from the pick so that I can place it better once we stick it into the oasis. Next, let's do a bow with just wire. Cut your piece of wire to be about 20 inches long, and then cut your ribbon again to that 16 inch mark. I cut my ends at an angle so it has a more finished look. Then do the same process again where you fold the ribbon over itself, and then take the back up to that same spot to create the bow. Pinch in that central location, take your wire, and about the midway mark of your cut piece, bend that around the center of the bow where you pinched it. And then twist it tight. Now you'll wanna take the end of your wire and bend it over itself and twist that tight because you're kind of making that pick. We had the wooden pick before and now we have this metal pick by twisting the wire back on itself. So you have a piece of where the wire is about six to eight inches long. That's the two ways you can wire the bows for your boxwood kissing balls. Now let's work those bows into the kissing ball itself. So our kissing balls, we typically put eight bows on them and we do it in kind of a triangle formation that I'll show you a little bit more clearly in a moment. But with a wooden pick, you stick it in firmly and then you have that inch of wire at the end to kind of place the bow in the position that you want. This bow I put right on top of a different bow, but you'd really want to space them. And then the wired one you can do just the same way because you created that firm wire by twisting it and then you have the wires really malleable so you can kind of place it where you want it to be that way too. You see that triangle formation that we create. On our website, we have a tip sheet with step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you for joining us and happy crafting.